from the movie that inspired Bugs Bunny. No, I am not kidding you. Clark Gable's character in this movie actually did inspire Warner Brothers' Bugs Bunny. Hence, that he has a carrot in his mouth. So the movie is called It Happened One Night. And It Happened One Night stars Clark Gable and... Claudette Colbert? I think. Yeah, I think that's her name. Well, anyway... It mostly stars her, she has a fiancé that lives in New York, and she lives with her father down in Miami. And she so desperately wants to marry this guy, but her father says, No, I don't, I don't like him, you're probably not going to marry this guy, you'll move on to somebody else better. So what does she do? She runs away. So it's part manhunt movie, part road trip movie. But while she is on the run, there's this reporter that Clark Gable plays, <coughs> that is looking for her as well, and... Surprise, surprise, he actually finds her and, and says, Hmm, you know, I could take you back to your father, but I kind of want to see how this story ends, so I'm going to take you to your fiancé. It'll be the story of the century for me, and everything. And so they start this little road trip movie, and as road trip movies go, this one's actually pretty good. I really did like it. Especially, there are some scenes that did make me laugh. For example, the scene where he has... Where he's eating a carrot out of the side of his mouth. They are hitchhiking on the side of the road. And he's just sitting there nibbling on his carrot. And he says, Alright. Since you're a rich lady, you probably have no idea what hitchhiking means. So I'm going to teach you how to hitchhike. Now, there are many cues about hitchhiking. But nothing is better than the good old-fashioned thumb. So he's standing on the side of the road. Sticking his thumb out for passing cars. And they all go, Vroom. Vroom. <coughs> yeah, that scene made me laugh. It did. Oh, man. How is it that this movie made me laugh more than all of Rob Schneider movies combined? I'm just saying that that's got to mean something, especially for a movie made in the 30s. But as usually movies go, as they're traveling across the United States, they start falling in love because... Well, it's the 30s. All movies were pretty much like this. <laughs> but as I'm watching, I'm, think, I'm thinking it to, m to myself, where have I seen this formula before? Anastasia! That's right, the cartoon Anastasia, it, part of it is actually based off of It Happened One Night. Man, the title of this movie sounds like an awkward first first line for an awkward conversation with your spouse. I mean, you just walk up to your spouse and say, It only happened one night. I'm, d I'm just saying, eh, eh. That's my idea of comedy. I'm not funny. So, anyway, it's, it's a really enjoyable movie. I'm not saying it's one of my favorite Best Picture winners, but I did, I did enjoy this movie, and if I could think about it, then I would actually pop it in, like a day or so and put some popcorn in, watch it, and have a good time. So I say this movie is definitely worth buying on DVD. So guys, it happened one night. Have you seen it? What did you think about it? And if you have an opinion about it, comment below, let me know, and I'll see you in the next video.